cataclysmic astrophysical phenomena. You can kind of think of these black holes colliding like mallets on a drum. And space time is like a three dimensional drum that rings in response to the motion of these mallets. Those waves in space emanate outwards from, from the origin and travel through the universe pretty unimpeded. So by the time they hit the Earth, they're very quiet, but they're there. And so LIGO is basically a recording device. It's trying to record the shape of space-time ringing, the, the ringing drum, and it plays it back as sound. Sound? Tell me. Well, the guys in the control room, literally, the experimentalists, literally listen to the detector in the control room. And what do they hear? Well, mostly uh, they hear noise. So the the detector picks up a lot of seismic activity, trucks driving down the road, or an earthquake in China, or winds off of the coast. And so there's a lot of noise, but it's 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 just an incredibly sensitive machine. So when the gravitational wave hits, you can barely hear the sound of the space time ringing above the noise, barely. It's kind of like trying to listen to somebody at a cocktail party where you try to hone in on your friend's voice even though there's a lot of chatter in the room. <laughs> but the title of your book is Black Hole Blues and uh, Other Songs from Space. So it, it really is a tone of what they did here, is it not? Yeah, so they heard what's called a chirp. Um, the way this works is the black holes probably formed as a dead state of stars billions of years ago. They were in 